because we can name a thousand strikers, not a thousand, but we can name very high quality strikers who are better than Michael Owen. Yeah. Clearly, in that same year, in that same year, and he won by forty points over people like Zidane, people like Raul, people like Rivaldo, people like Ronaldo, the phenomenon. Mm. People like Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry was on that same list. And Michael Owen just there. Like, what did he win that year? He had 32 goals, 28 assists that season. Nedved, who won it, had 14 goals and 17 assists. But look, you can't debate opinions. When journalists are involved and vote, they vote whatever they want. Hmm. However you want to look at it, they vote whatever they want. And when you look at the votes in the history of it, not only my year, every year, you look at the first three, you're like, really? You must have looked at some sometime and you must have looked at some and like, really? So it is what it is. You can't debate opinions. Welcome back to the Sangro Brothers podcast. This is the main focus podcast where we talk about life and crime issues as men. We do so with all facts. We do so with all facts. We're in the of men affairs because we encourage men to speak up. You and I have been having this discussion about Michael Owen and Thierry Henry. Yeah. And I asked you point blank who is the better striker? You said it's Thierry Henry. Yeah. Right? Who do you think is the better striker, Benji? Uh, I would say I didn't really watch Owen because okay. I'm a Mayu fan. I don't know. I, I think my mind, I think Otterary, Otterary is a better striker. Right. Now, the reason why I took the position, because my position actually isn't that Owen is better than Otterary. Yeah, yeah. You know that. Yes, I know that. Right? My position is that Owen won the Ballon d'Or. And Harry doesn't have it. Yeah. So, but what I was trying to do was I was trying to discredit the value of, of the Ballon d'Or because I'm I'm equating the Ballon d'Or to a Grammy to an award that people oh, give, yeah. not necessarily for what you've done. Yes. Because we can name a thousand strikers, not a thousand, but we can name very high quality strikers who are better than Michael Owen. Yeah. Clearly, in that same year, in that same year. And he won by 40 points over people like Zidane, people like Raul, people like Rivaldo, people like Ronaldo, the phenomenon. Mm. People like Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry was on that same list. And Michael Owen just there like this. What did he win that year? Remember what he won that year? He won the FA Cup. He won the, Euro, uh, he won the UEFA Cup. Mm. And he won... Champions League. No, he didn't win the Champions League. That year, either Madrid or Bayern Munich won the Champions League. He won the league? No, he didn't win the league. United or Arsenal won the league. So why did he win the league? That's the question. Yeah. Because everybody questioned it. That, ah, ah, bro, how far? How can Michael Owen win this thing? And if you're talking about career, at that time, Thierry had, Thierry had already won the World Cup. And he, and, and he was player. already banging goals in Arsenal. And he's a French player. And he's French. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, that was my position for you. I was mm. taking that position of saying, oh, Owen is better because he has a Ballon d'Or. Does Henri have, does Henri have a Ballon d'Or? Yeah. No, but... Thank um, you. So he's better. And I, and I countered your, your, your statement by asking if Ronaldo is better than Neymar. And I said... Neymar is better than Ronaldinho. Of course, but Neymar does not have a Ballon d'Or. Ronaldinho right. has more Ballon d'Or. Yes. Right. Now, if Ronaldinho adds to Ballon d'Or, right. this is not even going to be a conversation. Now, let me... Okay, okay, finish. It's not, yeah, it's not going to be a conversation because we will we'll then... So you're, so you're saying two. You must have two to be confirmed better. Yes. Because you win one and it could be by mistake. Of course. But no, that is not your position. That's my position. It, it, that's it, my it, position. We have your own video. That is not my. That is my position. Yeah, I know, but you have. We have your own video. You said something else. What did I say? Last year, when we were talking about Neymar. What did I say? When we were talking about winning the Ballon d'Or, yeah. you said Neymar mm. should be regretful that yes. he has not won the Ballon d'Or. Yes. Right. Yes. And I said, look, people like Ronaldinho, they sh they played well for three seasons. They won one Ballon d'Or yes. and they went to rest. Yes. We mentioned Kaka. Yes. Um, yeah. Wait now. We went to Kaka. Kaka won Ballon d'Or. I went to sleep. You said that. Yes. In, those, in almost those words. Yes. And I, then you, sir, uh, yeah, you brought up Michael Owen. 
that during lockdown, Michael Owen would be juggling the ball, he would bounce it off the wall and yes. he would bounce it off his ballon d'or. Yes. And he said that that is an immortal flex. Yes. And I asked you, I asked you very directly, that one ballon d'or, is it enough? You said yes. Though, like, how many times? I don't know, maybe twice or once. No, most people think he won it twice. But he won it twice. Only, only once. And that is My whole life, I thought it was twice. twice. Now you're saying you need to. Why is it? I know why I say you need to. He's saying you need to because you know that he can bite himself in the mouth when you break up Messi. No, no, no. I don't know. It's on video. I don't know. It's on video. There's no bro. There's no argument for Messi, honestly. Yes, yes. Messi is not the conversation. We're talking about the people like. Morientes, people like not Morientes. What, what I'm saying there, yeah. what I'm saying is this. But it's on video. I guess we have I know. So I know. Can you that, that's clarify a, that's your, a different the that's opposite a, statement? Wait now, that's a different conversation. What? what? Wait, I, wait, let me finish, please. Sorry. That that's a different conversation in the sense that mm -hmm. in the sense that I said Neymar mm -hmm. with the career he has had, yes. right? With the career Neymar has had, it, he, he has to win at least one. Okay. Because People like Ronaldo, they won one mm -hmm. and they went to rest. Mm -hmm. Deservedly so. Because. The resting of the women? The resting. Okay. They, like, till tomorrow, if they call a Ballon d'Or meeting, like. <laughs> Lema is not going to be there. You're not going to be there. Like. Okay. You have to <laughs> be there. Like, well, exactly. And Ori will not be there. Okay. You know, it's just, it's just like asking um, Aguero and, um, and Alan who is better. Hmm. Aguero is there, is meet. True. Yeah. No, do you, do you, no, no matter what. Do you understand? So we, we cannot use uh, because Alan scored with one goals. Mm. Oh, it's better than Aguero. Or if maybe he wins this Ballon d'Or, we not say it's better than Aguero. We have to. That. Yes. Do you understand? That that's exactly the point. But we can, but then we know that Aguero is better than Alan. At least from everything right now, right now we know Aguero is better. No, than no. Alan. Let's say let's say let's say like God forbid, right? Mm. Let's say God forbid. They mistakenly like uh, we, we couldn't see Messi, so we gave we gave uh, Haaland the ballon yeah, d'Or, right? Yeah, like it's not, this was Messi they gave him to to Haaland yeah, like that, right? Yeah. Are you telling me yes. that you will still maintain of course that Aguero is better than Haaland? Wait, right now, like yes, I've answered the question. Yes. Okay. Do you think Alan Aguero is better? Aguero. Clearly, yeah. right? Yeah, Clearly. Yeah, right. But now let's say doesn't the ballon d'Or change that? No, no, you you. you you cannot just win the Ballon d'Or once and, and But say, Owen did that, you said it was enough, that's my point that, 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 did that, you said it was enough it's a diff, That's a different conversation Benzema has won it once mm -hmm. And he ran to Saudi too That's enough for, Right That's enough for them For them it is enough They don't have to do any other thing mm -hmm. If Azad wins the Ballon d'Or once, I'm sure he will retire immediately He already retired after eating chicken the whole time Exactly What I'm saying is In this conversation, because of what Henry has done in football. We know how good Henry is. Yes. Because Owen won't have one ballon d'or. We can't just say because yeah, I would not say Owen is better than Henry. No, I can't say that. If because Ronaldo has one ballon d'or, we know that Neymar is better than Ronaldo. We know. We see it, it with our fact. eyes. It is. Please, please guys. Maybe comment. Maybe why Neymar doesn't have a ballon d'or because of Ronaldo. Comment exactly. Comment comment below, right? If Neymar than Ronaldo, because. The position on this spot, I don't know what. I, I did yeah. a post. My position is that Neymar is better than Ronaldinho. Why? He played for the same clubs as Ronaldinho did and did far better, far better all, way better in all those clubs. As more goals, more as, like. There's but no but all boomers will say oh, Ronaldinho is better because he won the World Cup. And no, because no, not because he won the World Cup because he does tricks. tricks. I'm like, like, like bro, Neymar does that. Neymar, uh, yes. Neymar does actual sombreros for people on the football pitch. Yeah. Ronaldinho has never done it, but no problem. Neymar is better than Ronaldo yes. without a Ballon d'Or. If Ronaldo had won two, we will probably. If he had won two, mm. he's better than Neymar, regardless of what we say. Because if he had won two, it would mean he did more. I want you to, I want you to understand what I'm saying. I just want you to understand what I'm saying. If Owen was on that level, that we are trying, if it was on that level, that, that were alleged. That I was alleging to, to put him on, would have two. Not mm. one. Mm. Kaka, but, Kaka will have two. Mm. Not one. Okay, okay, okay. I Do you think, understand? I, I, think, I think I see what but, you're saying. But like. how many players have one two balladors? Exactly! How many players have one? Uh, but Bastin, Platini... Now, these guys like, have two now. So that's, that's olden era. But like now, 
The only people that are getting more than one is Messi. Exactly, and that is my oh, point. Okay, 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 okay. That is my point. Ronaldo now you cannot compare Ronaldo with Neymar. No, you can't. That's why you cannot compare Ronaldo with Lewandowski. No. You cannot compare Ronaldo with Benzema. Then Messi can compare Ronaldo with Messi. The exact, and that is my point okay, exactly. Because they, each one because they want it. Consistent. If you are not, all. if you are not on that level, you cannot win more than one. Right. Right. Neymar deserves to win more than one ballon d'or, and that's why I'm saying he, mm. he has to at least win one just to have a piece, a kind of piece in his hands. Oh, I need to get the invite. Exactly, <laughs> and, that, and that's my whole point. Right. If I exactly, so I might want to now. All the days, guys, by passing, and those guys, if you check their career, they're on that level, oh, and that, and that's my own point. And that's look at Ronaldo's career. Does he deserve two ballon d'or? No. no, he had Ronaldo that had like just one good season or two good seasons. One solid season. Yeah. And that is my, and that's all the point. And thank you guys understand what I'm saying now. Yeah. That's what I'm I, saying. I it's, it's, it's clear now. It's quite if, you, if you win one ballon d'or, good, God bless you, good for you. But like, there are people that will still say, if you win like, one by mistake, like, yeah, and you can modify That year, uh -huh. yeah, you can't now say that, oh, Modi is better than Charlie because he won the ballon d'or. Ex so exactly. Uh, yeah. and, and you cannot say Modi is better than De Bruyne. No, you can't. Because he's not. You can't. He's not better than De Bruyne. That's it. He's not. Modric, look at Modric, he's not better than Kevin De Bruyne. We can bring yeah, out all the facts to so prove it. I do, but you want to say something. Someone said taking Croatia to the semi final. And I'm so, going to tell them that as final. I'm going to tell them that as final. They run down. They probably play football better than, that, it, better than like, Modric. We are talking about the football. Like the, on the, the pitch, match, the kind of passes. The, there's nothing Modric has done that the Bruyne has not done. That Kevin De Bruyne has not done on the field of play. That's all we are saying. And there are many things that De Bruyne has done. That Modric can never do. No, not that he has not done. He can never do it. Why? Because it's 37. Kevin De Bruyne has scored four goals in a match. Three of those goals were with weak foot. Outside the box. Kevin. Modric can't do it. He can't. He will die. He can't do it. He will fall down. But he can't do it. He can't do it. And everything Kevin De Bruyne has done, Messi has outdone them. And the things Messi has done, as a midfielder, the player would never do them. <laughs> these are just facts. These are these are just facts. And I'm sure these are the things this will look are just like right. it, it, it's deeper than because, just scoring goals. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's be honest. Let's all be honest. Like Kevin De Bruyne, I think he came third in the Benzema year, right? So he's he's been hovering around that top three, yeah. top five, and it's a shame. It is. It's a shame. And I will call it an oversight. The same way Neymar was overlooked. Yeah. But it was always like second to second. Right, right, but that's my point. Like he he wasn't there. Like he wasn't that main shout. Right? Now people are like you, people are mentioning Haaland's name more than Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. Which is not supposed to be. Which is it's, it's not like JJC. It's not true. Know. He just came. It's we've been even, we've been here. It's not even true. Yeah, it's not yeah, it's not true. Yeah, it's right. not true. Like he just scored his one goals. Okay. Can he, is he, I hope he's going to score 52 this year. Because if he doesn't score 52, right. even if he scores 49 this year, like, he should shut up. Right. I will not even look at his So, what, what would you say? For Haaland to deserve the Ballon d'Or, he needs to do that for like one, two, three, for four him, seasons. For him to be in that conversation, we've seen Messi and Ronaldo do these things for five consecutive seasons. Nine, but yes. Like, they were doing it. Yeah. You, like, it became a normal thing. Yeah. Which like like when Ronaldo scored forty four goals, they were like, ah, he's not even up to like he didn't even score enough goals. No, like, enough. forty four goals in the whole and season. And this is why this might have more than two. Ronaldo is, and that was twenty eighteen. Ronaldo is thirty eight right now. Yeah. He's scoring forty eight. Don't say that. You are sleeping very well. Like, there are many goals around. This is how it's not the case. And you go back to sleep. No, 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 you can't say that. Calm, calm down. Now. All these goals for this club. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 no, it hasn't, it hasn't reached the potential. Yeah, 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 right. Anyway, so I think I'm glad that we're able to clarify mm. this thing. But there was one more thing I wanted us to discuss. And I brought it up in that line, right? You know George Ware? Yeah. George Ware won the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. For which club? I don't know. What club do you think? Barcelona. Okay. Okay, so this is like a small history lesson. George Ware won the Ballon d'Or while he was at AC Milan. That is, he was a PSG. Mm. They won French League Cup and Coupe de la Ligue, mm. right? And they won the UEFA Cup Winners Cup, right? That summer, he transfers to AC Milan, mm. right? And then 
um, that December, he wins the Ballon d'Or, right? So everyone knows that George Ray won the Ballon d'Or as an AC Milan player, okay. but he had not done anything in AC Milan mm -hmm. to marry the Ballon d'Or, mm -hmm. right? Now, I looked into it. George Ware, he was the highest goal scorer in the Champions League last season. But Ajax won the Champions League last season. Mm -hmm. But then he needed George mm. Kanu. Right? George Ware won African best player. Right? He, for Liberia, his country, he played only one, he scored only one goal. No, he played only one match. In that voting period, do you understand what I'm saying? So it got me very curious. Why does George Ware have more Ballon d'Or than Lewandowski, Zlatan, Kanu, Henri? You know, all these people combined. Mm -hmm. Why? What? How? Right? So to the point where. I started digging around and they called it, somebody called it a miracle. That's why I was like, okay, there's a problem. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was maintaining that position about this award being a journalist oh. award to raise light on certain issues. So they're now talking about, oh, his win of the Ballon d'Or is a hallmark for Africa. Black Lives Matter. Basically. Because if you remember, South Africa had just happened, right? Nelson Mandela, all that stuff. Okay, that was why they gave him that year. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But then I was like, okay, but if you knew the judge won the Champions League, he actually got the he actually got the things. Why is it judge where? And um one good point that I considered towards the end of my thing was that you know you there's a difference between looking at the stats sheet. And watching the field of play, mm -hmm. so it's possible that maybe George Ware was a very, very strong, fast, skillful guy that people just couldn't touch. Even mm -hmm. though he only ended up scoring 18 goals in 53 games. Exactly, you're laughing, mm -hmm. which is correct. You understand? If you're so strong and so powerful and so skillful as a striker, centre forward. You should be scoring more than 18 goals. Definitely. Yeah. 50 something games. For for PSG. Definitely. You should. Well, Kano of course was in Ajax, right? Yes. Well, he didn't start the final, he was on the bench. Yeah. But Finney just started. Just and he won. And he won. And he won. This is just for the Vanda. That 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 uh, Balador was for this actually. Right, because at the Balador they always come out like when they were bringing all those migrants to Germany and to Europe and all these things. Sami Kufa came out and said, oh, yeah, it's Ballon d'Or. They gave fair play to Europe. They gave themselves, European footballers gave themselves a fair play award for taking all these filthy migrants mm -hmm. to come and be destroying their cities. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So it's clear that that ceremony is used to push and promote certain Agenda. things. Mm -hmm. Because it was almost like, oh, let's give a black man this award. award. Because even George Ware complained about the Ballon d'Or after. That when he went back to Italy, Fans and all these other people were making fun of that. Oh, we gave you the Ballon d'Or. Did you sell it to go and give your family bread? Your starving African family bread? He was complaining about that. I thought it was very funny. Because clearly, definitely, there would have been better players than George Ware that season. There is, there is just no way. The mini judge was the guy in that season. That, that year. As in, so, the judge. If you are giving you a black man, give you the judge. judge yeah. Simple. Yes, we're Nigerians. But. Mm, I think Jaguar is 90% of it. Yeah. So I think it's just a grooming grooming process. It groomed him from there. Groom who? Jaguar. Why? He's president of Nigeria. Like, oh, because his son plays for America. A strange, strange thing. I don't, I don't really know much about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, of course. I'm, how old were we then? But it's just important for us to look back mm -hmm. because every time we hear of oh George Ware is the first African player to win this, 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 you understand? We only look at it through those rose-colored glasses. We don't actually look at it as okay, wait, what, what did actually happened? Happen? What did you do? You understand what actually happened? Uh, and this one said, invisible banana skins are thrown at black people every day. Invisible banana. That's John Barnes. This is the problem. You understand? Invisible. Ba in Invisible banana skins are being thrown at black people every day. How? He banned that season. What did he do after that? What is he doing? 
which is okay. This isn't the one he banked for Westman. No, 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 he didn't bank at all. Like, what was his best return? He never had that kind of great, like Can one in two goals, like one uh, one goal every two matches type of return. Okay. He didn't have that, he was more like one in four, one in five. Okay, you understand? So, it's, it's just an interesting point because someone like Michael Owen, at least, like Michael Owen, he tried his best, went to Manchester and then won the lead, you know. He never won the Champions League, but I mean, he even with the purple, you know, he didn't. At least he tried, he was in Madrid when Liverpool won. Okay. Or Newcastle, I think. Nah, he was Madrid. He had many things he in Madrid, wasn't it just one? Was it Madrid? Or two? Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know, I can't remember. That was a long, long time ago. But, so, so I don't know, what do you think? George Ware? I, I don't know. Because they, they said Black History Month. So it's like a media thing. You understand? And, you know that stuff we said about Pele and Maradona never won the Ballon d'Or, mm. right? And this guy, this George Ware is the first person to break that mold of a non-African, sorry, a non-European player winning. Because mm. even though black players have won it before, like Eusebio, like uh, Guli, that's those are black people, but they play for national, European, European, national, national European teams, right? But he's the first African person playing for an African team to win the Ballon d'Or. And it's actually the first non-European person because mm -hmm. people like Pele, people like uh, Maradona never won because they were not even eligible. Mm -hmm. So you see how the rules just keep changing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Well, because because rules, normally, normally he would not have been eligible. To yeah. win. That means that they changed the rules for him to yeah. win. Yeah. So the question now is why? So that oh, when everybody is. You know, they gave Mandela a Nobel Peace Prize, right? Then, then football has said, oh, let's give an African person yeah, for, 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 for <laughs> you know, for black heritage or whatever. So I thought, I just thought it was a very interesting um, thing. Because I went through it. I went through it. Like when Mendy was excluded or not included mm -hmm. from the Ballon d'Or thing, the first thing was racism. The first shout, right? Because they, they mentioned all oh, George Ware, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. and then it has since George Ware it has escaped Africans. African players suffer from the fact that their national teams are not among the best in the world that can weigh in on the vote, right? So they are saying that he was absent. Okay, is their racism on against the Africans? But Mohamed Salah is there, nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Riyad Mahrez is there. So is the bias against African players? If two Africa African Africa. guys are nominated. I think Africans are racist in their own. No, it's the Ballon d'Or people. Van Dijk is not black. That's what I'm saying now. Huh? But, but, but Africans are not seeing them as black. I see that. Yeah. And, and Mane too was. Wasn't Mane nominated? Was nominated Mane, Mane, was not, Mane was nominated now. So how is it racism to exclude? Mendy. Mm. Because Mani got nominated, not Mendy. I, I think I think the thing is um, goalkeepers, defenders are they're not, they're not no, really no, no, nobody rates them, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's actually his problem. Yeah, I think that's that's problem. Goalkeepers defenders are not really rated for the problem. Right. Anyways. So thank you all for listening. What do you think? Do you think goalkeepers and defenders should be rated more? And what do you think of George Ray? Look into it, find out and what try to find a good reason why he was given the ballot door because we only find out after the win. We only justify it after. Right? Yeah. So thank you guys. Thank you.